Insects are one of the most successful life forms on this planet. There are 19 quintillion insects on the planet with us today. So they're really good at taking advantage of resources and adapting to do that. And what that means is that they can make the positive changes that happen in their body over time through evolution that help them be able to get resources like food or shelter that other animals aren't able to get. And so it gives them energy to be able to survive and make a living. Insects have evolved and adapted to live into so many different environments. And one of the harshest is the desert. And so in the desert in the United States, there are a number of beetles. And one of my favorite is called the blue death feigning beetle. And one of their tricks to stay alive in the desert as an adult is to play dead. So you probably recognize this as a caterpillar. So these guys have really special characteristics or adaptations that ensure that they do an amazing job of finding their food, eating their food, processing their food, not falling off their food, and then being able to grow into an adult. It doesn't have long legs to run. It's got little tiny legs. It uses those just to hang on to the plant. It doesn't need to escape things. And that's also partially because of the coloration. So it's the color, it matches the plant, so it can't be found. So there's all different ways that insects take advantage of the resources around them. And some might be being really good at eating certain kinds of foods, and some are adapting to the environments to blend right in. So this is one of my favorite mimics out there. It is called the giant walking leaf. And can you spot it? This right here is the animal. So we have leaves and then we have the insect right here. And she is a, working her darndest to be a leaf. And so she doesn't move a lot because leaves don't move a lot. So she sits very still, but over millions of years, she's evolved these really leaf-like appendages. So her, her legs have flattened out. These are her legs right here, front legs. She has this gorgeous green color and her wings have become veined like a leaf. One that we have here, called the Maclay's Spectre, is a type of walking stick, and it's trying to look like dead bark. So that's curled abdomen is curling dead bark, and it can blend right in. So a predator can't find it. And it's, see, it's doing a little bit of movement, that little waving back and forth. It's trying to pretend it's a leaf in the wind. So it's even adapted the ability to mimic the leaves around it or the plant material around it 